Hey guys, it's Mike from 8 Time Online, and today we're looking at the blueprint to make $1,000 plus with a new blog. So this is part two of the new blogs income report study and the whole focus of today is to find out exactly what we have learned from the blog income reports that can then help you to go from zero to a thousand dollars plus in a month using blogging. So the first episode if you go back one episode you can find out all about how each niche makes money at the start when they're first starting blogging and what methods they use to actually monetize it and it is quite different between each niche so it's important to be aware of those things today we're going to focus on how to make a thousand dollars from zero with a new blog and it's looking at those past income reports from loads and loads of different bloggers there was 57 reports used in the study hundreds of reports actually looked at to create the study in the first place but the today is going to be kind of four stages of how you go from zero to the making a thousand dollars plus so first of all let's start with the obvious if you want to make money with your website you have to get traffic there's no alternative that you can't even start to think about monetizing anything unless your website gets traffic and this is quite often where a lot of people fail at the start in the early stages and kind of end up giving up because they just don't see the traffic come now in 2000 at the end of 2019 moving into 2020 there is still one method that really helps to get this traffic and that method is, with no surprise, Pinterest. However, what many people will not tell you when they're talking about using Pinterest is there are definitely some niches which stand out compared to others. For example, the top four that stand out on Pinterest and really do very, very well are recipes or food, home decor, fashion, and DIY, so crafts how to do it yourself crafts and things like that there are definitely other topics other niches in fact most things are there on Pinterest they do exist there are some other niches which are sort of closely followed such as health and fitness kids and parenting budgeting travel those things do pop up on Pinterest over and over again so if you are struggling to get enough traffic to your website to monetize or make any decent money with ads and things then there are two very quick ways that you can check out as a, on a video on the show notes which is maketimeonline.com forward slash study and there is a video if you go down to how to do this but the two ways are really just using Pinterest and Uber suggest which are both completely free to use all this does is show you a way that you can just test to see what is actually being searched for what people actually share what people actually want to see so rather than just guessing so five out of seven of the niches make a lot of money and make a high proportion of their money from ads alone so the two that don't as much are marketing and personal finance. However, I'm going to just use an example in a personal finance niche. So let's imagine your website that you want to create is all about saving money and budgeting and or how to get out of debt. All about saving money. You can still use Pinterest and Uber Suggest to help you in this situation. So if you went onto the Pinterest platform and you typed in ways to save money or some sort of equivalent budgeting ideas something like that that will show you all of the best performing pins on the page and then it's just up to you to kind of click onto the pin and you'll be able to see somewhere on there inside there how many times that pin's been shared ideally depending on what niche and things you are in you're really looking for anything over a thousand shares 
if you can see that a pin has got over a thousand shares that is telling you people are sharing it people want to see whatever that is so that is a great idea whatever the title is for that so let's say it's 15 ways to save money every month if that has been a pin that has been shared a lot that is a great idea for something that a piece of content you can create to get more traffic to your website similarly if you go to google and type in the same sort of thing so ways to save money you will find the first few pages or the first few results on the first page of websites that do very well from that keyword so all you're going to do is you can click on the website just check it is the same sort of niche same sort of stuff that they're writing about and then what you can do is then use the url put that into uber suggest and that will give you a load of ways that that website gets traffic from google every single month so again it's something that people actually are searching for with that information that gives you a whole load of ideas of content that you can write about that you know people are going to search for you're not guessing you're not just guessing what you're going to write if you are gonna if you're if the aim is to get traffic and to monetize your website this leads us on to part two which is all about trying to get onto the two best quality ad networks now in the study there were over 57 income reports out of those 57 income reports only 34 of them used mediavine or ad thrive which are the two best income or ad networks even though that only just over half of the income reports used one of those two ad networks almost 90 percent of the total ad revenue made up over those blog, blog income reports came from ad thrive or mediavine so just as an idea of what you need to get into those two ad networks mediavine requires 25,000 monthly sessions a month so if you're not getting 25,000 monthly sessions a month you might if you're brand new to this you might be thinking that number is crazy honestly if you can actually use pinterest to your advantage to get traffic to your website it's surprisingly not too bad ad thrive requires a hundred thousand monthly page views now that there is a difference let's just say you get twenty five thousand people that click onto your website that would count as a session that it has to be separate times that they come to your website but let's just say each time they come to your website they click onto four different pages so they go onto one web on one page and then the, you have a internal link which takes them to another page and another internal link that takes them to another page that means just from getting 25,000 sessions it is possible to get 100,000 monthly page views so it's maybe not as bad as what it first sounds there are some other requirements with ad thrive i think you need the majority of your audience to be mainly from the us but if you have a website that is on anything else on anything to do with anything else other than marketing this should be your first goal that it should be get to 25,000 monthly sessions and get onto one of these higher end ad networks just by doing that alone you'll find that you pretty much you you're going to be heading towards a thousand dollars a month if you are not getting 5,000 page views a month that should be your sole focus is just to get those numbers up higher again marketing the marketing niche is different it is completely different in the fact that it doesn't rely on ads it relies on building trust so if you are in the marketing niche you should very quickly start thinking about products that you can create typically the people that do the best in marketing niches will have a proven track record so it's quite hard to just start blogging about blogging if you've never blogged or you don't have any proof of ways that you can get traffic or proof of ways that you have made income that means that if you are in any of the other niches the main focus then is really using pinterest and uber suggest to find articles that people actually want and then just trying to get it out there and particularly pinterest 
even if you are not using one of those four key successful niches on Pinterest, such as recipes, home decor, fashion, and DIY, even if you're not using any of those four, it is possible to get some traffic to your website. Once you start getting over 5,000 monthly page views, then the next tactic, and this is particularly important if you're in the personal finance niche, in fact, you should probably start thinking about this even before you start going, is thinking about affiliate products to promote. Now, if you're in any of the other niches, the main thing, so if you're in um, lifestyle, any of the lifestyles, so health and fitness, mummy, food, 100%, and travel, if you're in any of those niches, you can definitely use Pinterest to get some traffic. The whole idea then is to try and get enough traffic to get onto one of those premium ad networks of AdThrive or Mediavine. Once you are doing that, and if so, if you are in the personal finance niche, you definitely can get over 5,000 page views in a month just from using Pinterest as well. Once you're doing that, you can then use your Google Analytics to find out what your readers are, are actually reading every single month. So you can find out what their interests are. And then the whole point is, is if you are, let's say for example, you're in the health and fitness niche and you are writing about diet, but you're also sort of talking about exercises and you have some yoga things in there. Let's say for example, that you're, you find your audience, the people that are reading your blog posts are mainly going towards your food articles then potentially you can find a food affiliate link. So it might be something like a $5 meal plan. It could be um, another, it could be something on ClickBank. It could be something on Amazon Associates. It, you know, you could find an ebook, which you can do through Amazon Associates. And make sure you obviously you test the product. You don't want to just be promoting things that are absolutely terrible. And it helps a lot as well if you've actually tested a product so you can actually write a better in-depth review and research and sort of give some feedback about what the product actually does and then all you can do is put affiliate links on your most common pages so your websites that most people are reading that's where you want to make sure that you're targeting and getting affiliate links onto there then the last thing that is clearly seen from these income reports is particularly if you look further on it than these income reports in this study is what a lot of them tend to start doing is then create their own product so let's just say for example you are in the budgeting niche all about saving money and things like that you find that you're getting a lot of success and you're starting to find that you have an affiliate program which is all about how to save money in every month so it might be a budgeting planner or something if you're finding that you're getting success from that affiliate program what a lot of successful bloggers then start doing is create their own product about the same kind of topic the same kind of theme and just make it better and that just means that if the let's just say the budgeting planner cost $27 you as an affiliate might only receive $10 of that. You might receive about 30% of the income. Then rather than having to then sell loads and loads and loads more, if you can create the product that's even better than the one that you're already selling, you could maybe charge $35 and you get to keep 100% of the income. And that's really how people then start really scaling and doing really, really well. This stage is completely optional though, and it is more than possible to make more than $1,000 plus a month without even having to ever think about creating your own product. This is just the next stage that a lot of these blog income reports prove that people go on to once they start earning a good money every single month. So there you have it, it is a proven blueprint that is already laid out in these blog reports that people have just shared on the internet and they're completely available for anyone to see. It's just a case of actually understanding what it really means. So the whole thing really 
the key takeaway is first of all you have to get traffic to your website and the way that you do that is not by just writing things that you want to write about it's really important to understand that if you're making a blog and the whole idea for it is to create traffic and get income you get you're going to have to get out of your own ego you can't just write things that you want to write about you're going to have to write things that people are already searching for and want to read and particularly if you can do that using pinterest that's going to help you to get traffic quickly to your bro to your blog using it to, on seo and google is obviously definitely possible and a lot of people do it but it will take a little bit more time but again it's really important that you still use google you still use uber suggest to make sure that what you're writing about are things that people are actually searching for and want to read every single month the niche that really stands out is the marketing niche and if you are going to go into the marketing niche with a blog it's important to have an idea of a course or something that you can create to really help people and help to build that trust the big thing that was clear from every single marketing blog income report is that they had trust with their readers it was very very clear that they can recommend something and they know that they're going to get people to buy it through their emails and just from having an audience of people that really do trust them and believe in them i do hope that was useful guys you can go over to maketimeonline.com forward slash study to see all of this information see the show notes and kind of see the whole report in one place and there are things in there like videos infographics and graphs that can just help to break it down a little bit clearer and see it in a visual sense now you may be thinking well how did you know that blueprint actually works apart from the fact that it's kind of laid out for you in loads and loads of different blog income reports i'm actually going to also personally be setting up a brand new website in a brand new niche to follow the exact blueprint that has been laid out for us if you are interested in seeing exactly how much time and effort and how many blog posts need to be written each month to start receiving that traffic to then receiving the income then check out the show notes maketimeonline.com forward slash study and there's a way for you to just follow this journey i'll be sending you monthly updates with the exact things that has gone on for that website within the last month and the progress it's making thanks for listening in to this episode of make time online be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any future episodes and please take a moment to write a review for our podcast in the app store keep changing for the better guys take care